Hello everyone, welcome to the Dwin Modbus training. Last time, many friends left messages saying that they wanted to achieve more functions by sending Modbus commands. Today, I will bring you text input, variable icon, animation icon, and RTC for functions. Before learning, we need to download the Modbus slave kernel from Dwin's official website. Select the corresponding baud rate and UART. And this is the Modbus slave kernel file. Next is DGUS settings. I've prepared background pictures for these four functions in advance. Page 02 is text input. You can use the text display control to display text in this area. Click here to return to the home page. Page 03 is variable icon. The luminar icon can be turned on and off by using the variable icon display and increment adjustment controls. Page 04 is animation icon. Set an animation control in this area. And these two buttons control the start and stop of the animation. Page 06 is RTC. You can set the RTC display in this area. Now please follow me to do it. Open the DGUS software. First, click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path. And click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. The image needs to be named from 00, 00 onwards. Next we need to generate 32 to ICL background image. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select the background image directory and click Generate. Name it 32 to ICL file. Then generate 48 icon files. and 50 animation icon files. Then click touch and display config. This is the home page. These four function blocks can jump to the corresponding function page. Select the basic touch module. Box select touch area. Set the button effect. The page switches to page 02. Then copy the control three times. Change the corresponding switching page number. The variables icon switch to page 03. Animation icon switch to page 04. RTC switch to page 06. Click on page 02. Text input function. Select text display. Box select display area. VP addresses 1000 to FFFF are available to users. Enter 1000. Text color selects black. Because we use the zero font library. Its default encoding mode is 0x02 equals GBK. Text length is set to 20. The X and Y lattice numbers are the same, set to 30. Set up an initial veil, function test. Set a control in this area that returns to the home page. Select the basic touch module. Box select touch area. The page switches to page 00. zero. Then copy the return control for each function page. Click on page 03, variable icon. Set up some controls to control the lighting on and off. Select increment adjustment. Box select touch area. The VP address cannot conflict with the previous one. I choose 1010. Adjust method select plus. Select Cycle Over Limit Operation. Adjusting Step Length Select 1. Lower Limit Select 0. Upper Limit Select 1. 
touch effect, select disposable setting. Then select variable icon display. Box select display area. The VP address must be the same as the touch control. Enter 1010. Icon file, select 48. Because 1 means on, 0 means off. Minimum select 0. Select icon 0. Maximum select 1. Select icon 1. Similarly, set the variable icon control for the button below. The VP address must be the same. Enter 1010. Icon file, select 48. Minimum select 0. Select icon 2. Maximum select 1. Select icon 3. Box selected controls, then copy them 3 times. Change the VP address to 1020. Change the VP address to 1030. Click on page 04. Animation icon. Click the animation icon. And box select the display area. VP address, enter 1040. 0 and 1 are used to indicate the animation is off and on. Stop value enter 0. Start value enter 1. Icon file select 50. Stop icon ID select icon 0. Start icon ID select icon 0. End icon ID select the icon 14. Animation icon indicates the display time of a single icon. Enter 3 indicates 3D gus cycles. 3 by 20 milliseconds equals 60 milliseconds. The next two buttons turn the animation on and off. Select return key code. And box select the touch area. Button effect select page 05. Key value 0001 indicates turn on the animation. The VP address must be the same. Enter 1040. Copy the control once and change the key value to 0000, indicates turn off the animation. Next, click on page 06. RTC function. Select RTC display. Box select display area. Font color set to black. The X direction lattice is set to 16. This section represents the code of the RTC. For example, Y means year. The data format. We'll just choose the default format. Which means year, month, day, hour, minute, second, week. Finally, generate the file. And click save. Then open the official DWIN website. Click Download, Kernel Upgrade. Select Edit Modbus Slave Underscore OS. Download. Then extract the file. Click on it. This is the Modbus Slave Kernel. Copy it to the Dwin Set folder. Copy the Dwin set folder to the SD card for burning. Next comes the wiring part. I use this model this time. UART4 for RS-232 communication. Look at this wiring diagram. DC port connects the GND and VCC of the socket. Then connect the 12V power supply to the DC port. This is the DB9 port. This time we use RS-232 communication, we need to use 2, 3, and 5 ports. There are usually numbers marked on the port. 2 indicates RXD. Connect to the TX on the socket. 3 indicates TXD. 
connect to Rx. 5 indicates GND, connect to GND. Then connect the DB9 port to the PC. Now let's start wiring. These are the accessories we need to prepare. This is the DC port. This single wire represents the negative port. And connect it to the GND of the socket. These two wires represent the positive port. And connect it to the VCC. This is DB9 port. You can see the numbers marked on it. 2 indicates RXD. Connect to the TX on the socket. 3 indicates TXD. Connect to RX. 5 indicates GND. Connect to GND. Then connect the DB9 female port to the DB9 male port on the PC. This way, the wiring part is finished. Next, insert the SD card into the slot. And DC port connects the 12V power supply. Burn the project to the screen. Blue screen showing end indicates that burning is complete. Then power off. Remove the SD card. And power on again. Let's take a look at the project. Text input. Variable icon. Animation icon. RTC. Next, we start to send Modbus commands to debug the various functions. Open the Serial Assistant. Select the corresponding UART. Baud rate 115200. Hex show. Verify select Modbus CRC16. Open the serial port. The first is text input. Look at this command. 01 is the Modbus ID. In the OS kernel, Modbus ID is set to 01 by default. 10 is function code, write data to multiple VP addresses. For more code explanation, you can check out my first Modbus teaching video. 1000 is the VP address of the text input. 0003 is the data length in Word. 06 is the data length in Byte. I'm going to show text. 74657874 is its ASIC2 code. FFFF is the end mark. Open the Serial Assistant. Click Text Input. Send the text command we just mentioned. You can see that function test turns to a text. The second function is variable icon. Look at this command. 01 is Modbus ID. 06 is function code. Write data to a single VP address. 1010 is the VP address of the variable icon. In the DGUS software settings, we mentioned that 0 and 1 represent two states. 0, 0, 0, 0 equals off. 0, 0, 0, 1 equals on. Click variable icon. Send the command to turn on the variable icon. You can see the first variable icon is turned on. Send the turn off command. You can see that the variable icon is turned off. You can also try changing the variable address to turn the remaining two icons on and off. The third function is animation icon. Look at this command. 01 is the Modbus ID. 06 is the function code. Write data to a single VP address. 1040 is the VP address of animation icon. 
Similarly, 0 and 1 represent two states. 0, 0, 0, 0 equals turn off the animation. 0, 0, 0, 1 equals turn on the animation. Click animation icon. Send the command to turn on the animation. Send the command to turn off the animation. The fourth function is RTC. We need to open the T5LD GUS application development guide. Here is the download link. Go to the system variables interface section. 0x9c is used to set the RTC. It takes up four words. Look at this command. D7 to D6 indicate the enable mark. Write 5AA5 to enable RTC setting once. D5 to D0 indicate year, month, day, hour, minute, and second, all in HEX format and a week is automatically generated. Here's an example. 5AA5 indicates the enable mark. 18 indicates years. Means the year 2024. 05 indicates the month. 0A indicates day. 08 indicates the hour. 00 indicates minutes. 0, 0 indicates second. From this, we can get the commands to rewrite the RTC with Modbus. Only need to write this command on the 009C address to modify the time. Click RTC. Look at command. 01 is the Modbus ID. 10 is function code, write data to multiple VP addresses. 009C is the system VP address of the RTC. 0004 is the data length in Word. According to the development guide, 009C takes up four words in length. 08 is the data length in byte. Then follow the RTC command on the development guide. 5AA5 indicates the enable mark. The following are year, month, day, hour, minute, and second. Send the command, and you can see that the time has changed to May 10, 2024, 8 o'clock, Friday. It is worth noting that if your screen does not have an RTC module, the time parameter will not change. By studying these functions, perhaps you can come to this conclusion, Modbus command format is Modbus ID, function code, VP address, data length, data content. And you can try to send a page switching instruction yourself. Try sending this command at address 0x84 and see what happens. Thanks for watching.